rejection really can be a blessing and an elevation because it's pushing you, you know, forward or pushing you to where you're supposed to be. And then sometimes people know a lot more about a situation than what we know. And we're willing to settle for something, some position, some person, but maybe that position or that person knows a lot more details than we do. What we call a rejection oftentimes is not a rejection. Yeah, yeah you're so, so, so true about that. And again, a lot of it is wrapped up in our own perception of certain things going, this is like Chris was talking about the baggage we bring into it mm -hmm. is where the challenge comes from, right? Because we, we bring so much preconceived stuff mm -hmm. into this exchange. Um, and that's what we're filtering it all through, right? As we, as we go through the process versus just coming in, having more of an open mind and an open posture and open stance mm -hmm. and being willing to just go for the ride. Mm -hmm. versus trying to bring this all, all this baggage in, dictate the outcome and mm -hmm. you, you're predicting this. And I'm going to, like Chris was talking about, we've been behind the wall now, mm -hmm. lobbing grenades over. That's not the position that you want to put yourself into. And I think we're, a lot of people, we really can get guilty of doing that to ourselves in these different mm -hmm. situations. But Eric, I want to thank you for the segue because the next thing I wanted to talk about is exactly where you went. And that's talking about figuring out what your why is, you know, why do you want whatever it is that we're, you are uh, trying to attain or achieve, whether it's that relationship or meeting this person or getting that promotion or whatever it might be that could potentially bring some type of rejection from it. But a lot of that, the most important piece of it is what's your why behind it? Why are you trying to go and accomplish or do or, or get this thing? Right. Mm -hmm. And, that I believe has a lot to do with it too, is keeping up with the Joneses. Bob next door got a promotion. So now I got to compete with Bob. So I need to go get a promotion. But is that really what you want? Mm -hmm. right? right. And then when it doesn't happen, are you really hurt or now are you more embarrassed? Because now you got to go tell Bob, well, I didn't get the promotion. Right. So now you got that monkey on your shoulder that you don't want to deal with too. So understanding where you're, why is what, what's what's truly motivating you is, is an important piece of it. Uh, the other thing I want to throw on, and I'm going to come around and have you guys share your thoughts. One is about identifying and some of the tools and techniques to help focus in on what your why may be, but also uh, I just use the term motivation. There is a definite difference. And I think this is another thing that people need to grasp onto. And Sean talked a lot about the people he listens to first thing in the morning you know, to, to get his juices flowing and, and their message. But there is a difference between motivation and inspiration. And that is another thing that I think people get those two things confused or don't understand what, what the, the difference is. Or there are some similarities, but there are some, some definite differences. Uh, so I want to talk a little bit about that, too, just from a motivation versus inspiration standpoint. Because in general, and this is a generality with it, motivation is temporary. You are motivated to do something and then that wanes and it falls off and now you need to be re-motivated. Maybe the same thing or a different direction, whatever it might be. Mm -hmm. Being inspired is limitless, right? Mm -hmm. So, and that's, I think this is the biggest difference mm -hmm. with that. So Chris, I'll come to you first. I wanna hear you talk a little bit about your whys or understanding, getting to the root of why, and then what, things drive that? Is it motivation or is it inspiration? So let's think about it from a job perspective. The key motivation is getting paid. Okay. That's your first, that's your first consideration. I want to get paid. If it's a personal relationship, typically it should be, I want to be loved. Now for me, I be, I'm evolving past that I just want to get paid. I want to do something that that's a fit and it serves me. We've talked about this and you and I have talked about this online in depth. And that is, a, those are two huge things for me now. I can get paid. That's not really an issue. But one of the things I've had to learn over the course of this last year and change is, and really focus on what matters to me 
and I say what matters to me. Am I underlining that till the paper has a rip in it? Okay. Am all my talents going to be used? Are people going to recognize what I bring to the table? Um, is it going to be able to be, I don't necessarily need it to be acknowledged on a day in and day out basis, but occasionally I just, you, you, you need that occasional attaboy, right? Now we flip it over to the personal side of our, our lives. Now, I want somebody to love me, but I also want to be able to love someone and then be able to, to accept that love because you can love somebody. That doesn't mean that they have the ability to love you back. Uh, and even now love such a, you know, such a broad scale thing. You have to be prepared to let people love you in the way that they love you, as opposed to the way you want them to love you. You have to be able, you have to be able to make that, that, that if, if, if there's a deal you're making, you have to be able to make that deal sometimes. And you also have to be able to grow into it. You know what I mean? It's just, you just don't all of a sudden come together. And, I love you. You love me. And it's all hunky dory. That's when actually the real work begins. So I'm, you know, I'm starting to identify those things in, in my, my life and my world. It's funny. I taught, I had to do a speech last night for this graduation ceremony. Right. And I'm on this new thing now because I now have all these new tools that have been identified. My preparation is starting to, 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 to really, I'm ramping up my preparation. Mm -hmm.